The following is an overview of another round of improvements to the design of the MagPod. We made a couple subtle mods to the MagPod to help them better stack on each other. There's an update to the lid ring, adding four notches that the folded feet nest into. There is also now a top cap option that incorporates additional embedded magnets that take advantage of the magnets already in the main body. We printed this new top cap upside down to make sure the top surface was smooth, and we laid the magnets into the cavities, with north facing up when the print was paused. With these design adjustments, the pods should stack fairly easily on top of one another. In addition, the lid file is also now provided in three different aperture sizes, the original 90mm opening, and also now in 90.05mm, as well as 90.1mm. This should hopefully address the sometimes excessively tight fit to the main body that some people have alerted us about. When test printing the ring and the various test variations, we had been getting some puzzling errors that didn't seem to be occurring consistently. After some trial and error, we figured out that the rotational orientation of the lid on the build plate seemed to make a difference. Facing the front of the build plate, the openings of the lid ring were placed at top left and the bottom right. This seemed to mitigate the printing imperfections on the angled surface of the lid ring. Note that this was using a Bamboo X1C. Outcomes may be different using different machines. Also, the internal spring is now a little thicker, providing a stronger rebound. And there is an alternate button design that is a little longer for a more positive feel. Assembly procedure remains the same, and the new buttons and spring should fit into the old rings if necessary. While the MagPod was originally designed primarily to be a fun container, we got a lot of requests to explore more practical uses. Our first reaction was to design inserts that could make the interior space more useful. A hex bit holder insert seemed like an obvious direction to explore. We ended up settling on a TPU 95A with two wall loops. Both the high flow and standard types seemed to work okay, but we found that the AMS TPU which had a durometer rating of 68D, was too rigid and not compliant enough. We went through a few iterations, trying to find the right balance between secure retention and easy removal for both the insert block and the bits. We also wanted a way to add an auxiliary light source, so we added a stalk that could be used with a short flashlight's clip. The stalk can be printed in a rigid material like PLA, but the stalk's connection to the MagPod needed to be printed in something flexible, like TPU. This helped to prevent fragility or breakage due to the part's small size. We tried a number of different small lights with pocket clips. We tended to prefer the ones that had lights at 90 degree angles because they allowed the light to be aimed in more useful directions. The TPU connector and light stock were designed with a pretty tight fit so that there would be enough friction for the stock to retain its angle position even with the weight of the light. Using a larger LED unit, the MagPod can be converted into something that can be used as a primary light source. There are a number of affordable options available, so we chose two, to create TPU adapter shims for, along with a top finishing cap. One had a tap-on tap-off power function, and also had a remote. This made this type very easy to use. There's really not much to these, besides measuring the dimensions of the piece you want to place inside, then subtraction of that form out of the solid form that corresponds to the interior cavity. Then with the addition of some details, like holes or tabs for pulling, to ensure removal is easy enough when necessary, the only thing left would be any required adjustments for fit that become apparent after an initial test print is made. The other type required the use of the included remote, but it was also brighter, with significantly more LEDs, and also weatherproof. We're sure you have plenty of other ideas out there, so we're also including an editable blank insert file that can be used as a starting point in a CAD program for customization. A similar file corresponding to the deeper version of the MagPod will also be available. After building a number of the MagPods, one of the things we noticed is a bit of play between the lid and the body along the x-axis when the lid is on. We try both, making the lid ring a little taller 
and we also try adding a TPU gasket. While the former is arguably quicker and simpler, we prefer the latter partly because the elasticity of the TPU helped to compensate for any slight unevenness, and partly because it also adds a nice aesthetic detail. It also made rotating the lid smoother when aligning the latches with the holes, but we'll make both available in the file update. If you've already purchased and downloaded a previous version of the MagPod file package, you should hopefully already have gotten an email with a link to these updates. But if you didn't, please check your junk folders. We did try a different method of pushing the email out this time, so if you still haven't gotten it, just send us a message from the same email you used in your original order, and we'll get you a link to the files. And due to popular demand, we're also doing a short run of complete units of the MagPod. Please check our site for additional details. As always, thank you for your interest and support. We hope you continue to get something out of this content, whether it be information, inspiration, or just entertainment. Till next time.